What's up guys, Christian here, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock your iPhone 8. Now there are two types of locks. First you have the passcode lock, and then you have the carrier lock. I'm gonna show you how to do both of them. The passcode lock is if in case you forgot the security code of your phone or your four digit pin and you're locked out. So I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone so that you're able to use back your phone again. Now the carrier unlock is if your phone is currently locked for a specific network. Let's say you bought your phone with AT&T or T-Mobile and you wanna switch providers to Metro PCS or any other carrier, I'm gonna show you how to do a network unlock so that you're able to use your phone with any GSM carrier in the world. I'm gonna show you first how to do a passcode unlock, and then I'm gonna show you how to do a carrier unlock. If you only wanna do a carrier unlock, please go ahead and skip to this minute so that you can jump straight into that part. All right, so let's start with the passcode unlock. So for the passcode unlock, there are a few things that you need to consider before proceeding. The first thing is that all the information of this phone is gonna be deleted unless we have a backup somewhere in the cloud or in the computer. So pictures, data, contacts, everything is gonna be gone. The second thing, make sure you don't have an iCloud lock. So make sure you know your iCloud password and everything because if your phone has an iCloud lock, it's gonna be quite hard to unlock. All right, so with that said, let's start. Now I'm gonna switch cameras so that you can see what I'm currently doing with my phone and my computer. So connect your phone to your computer and then you have to run iTunes on the computer and make sure you have the latest version. Okay, now we're gonna power off the phone and we're gonna enter recovery mode. Getting into recovery mode on this phone is quite tricky and the method that works the best for me is this one. We're gonna press and hold all the buttons at exactly the same time. That's the volume up key, the volume down key and the power on button. So press and hold it at exactly the same time and keep holding them until you see the diagnosis screen. This may take a few tries so keep trying it until you get it. Then we have to press where it says exit diagnosis and right away press and hold the volume down key and the power on button. Keep holding them until you see the logo of iTunes. And that means you have successfully entered recovery mode and now it's time to switch to the computer. So you're gonna see a message just like this on iTunes and now we can restore the phone to factory settings. That's gonna erase everything on your phone and it's gonna return it back as if the phone was completely new. So we're gonna hit okay and you're gonna wait a while until the phone is fully restored. If you have an iCloud log here, the only way to bypass the iCloud log is by entering the original password of that account. But once this process is completed, your phone is gonna be completely usable and you're gonna be able to use it without any problem. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do a network unlock. This is a factory unlock. It is very simple. Uh, basically, there are three ways to unlock your phone. First method is to take your phone to a local store and they might do it for you. Um, you have to leave your phone there sometimes. Sometimes you, you have to give them the IMEI number of the phone. And uh, it is quite risky and sometimes they charge between $100 and $200. So it's quite expensive. The other option is to ask your provider to unlock it for you. Sometimes they might do it. Most of the times they don't like doing it because why would they do it? It means basically um, letting you go away. And the third method is to do it yourself. You only need your computer and your phone. And for me, that's my favorite method. That's the easiest. It is not free, but trust me guys, it is completely worth it to have a fully factory unlocked phone. And it is very safe. Your warranty won't be voided and your phone won't be damaged in any way. In fact, the value of your phone will go up in case you wanna resell it again in the future. All right, with that said, let's start. I'm gonna switch cameras so that you can see what I'm currently doing with the phone. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is to turn off Find My iPhone. So go to settings and disable Find My iPhone. You can click here at the top where it says sign in. As you can see here, I'm not even signed in, so that's perfectly fine. But if in case you are signed in, just make sure Find My iPhone is currently disabled. If you can't find this function, simply type find and you will see Find My iPhone option, just click on it. And then after your phone is completely unlocked, you can turn it back on. Okay, the next step is to get your phone's IMEI number. To do this, simply dial star hash zero six hash and as you can see your 15 digit IMEI number will appear in your screen this is very very important guys keep this number somewhere close as we will need it in a few seconds to unlock this phone so keep it close okay now we're gonna switch to the computer so i'm gonna put this phone down and now it's time to use the internet okay so once you are in the computer open the internet browser and go to the website unlockriver.com i'm gonna include the link down below okay so here we're gonna request the unlock to unlock this phone it's gonna be everything done remotely so first, we're gonna select the carrier and your country that your phone is currently locked in. My case, I bought my phone on AT&T, United States. Then we're gonna select the brand. I'm gonna type Apple. And then we're gonna select the model. In this case, I'm gonna be unlocking an iPhone 8. This method will also work for the 8 Plus or any other version, by the way. Okay, then you have to do the most important part. Here, you have to insert your 15-digit IMEI number. Make sure it is 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, guys, this method will not work. So just double check it. Okay, then just write down your email. Make sure it is 100% correct as well. If you scroll down, you're gonna see the price and the delivery time. This will always change depending on your phone's brand, carrier, and model. Okay, we're gonna hit unlock now. 
Okay, on the following page, you're gonna see a summary of your current order. So just double check everything, make sure it is 100% correct. Try to read everything here. Um, there is some important information that you need to consider, but don't worry, everything is safe. And we're gonna go ahead and place the order. I'm gonna be back once my order is completed and placed. So I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so after placing your order, you're gonna see a screen just like this. It basically confirms that the order was placed and received successfully. Now, all you have to do is wait. You have to wait until you get a notification confirming that your unlock was successful, and now you just need to connect your iPhone. Now, I'm gonna show you how the email will look like. It takes some days, so just be very patient. And once you receive the email, this is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna show you my email so that you can see how that email will look. So as you can see here, I just got this email from Unlock River saying that my phone has been successfully unlocked. I'm gonna open it and it basically says that you need to activate your unlock. So simply connect your phone to the internet and there are two methods. One, you can connect your phone to Wi-Fi or the second one, you can connect it to iTunes. So we're gonna use the second method and connect to iTunes. But first we have to do something. You have to insert an unsupported SIM card. So in this case, my phone is from AT&T. So I'm gonna use a SIM card that is not from AT&T. In this case, I'm gonna use a T-Mobile SIM card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it. Then connect your phone to your computer and launch iTunes. So wait until iTunes recognizes your phone and then you're gonna get a message saying that your phone has been successfully unlocked and now you're able to use your phone with any GSM carrier worldwide. You can restore, update, you can do whatever you want with your phone and your phone will remain unlocked forever. You should be good to go and as you can see here, my AT&T phone is currently working with T-Mobile so it is fully factory unlocked. All right guys, that's it for today. That's how you unlock an iPhone 8. By the way, we are giving away a brand new iPhone 8. We just hit 700,000 subscribers, guys. So check out the link on the description down below to see how you can enter the giveaway. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.